Introduction Lovingly Christians read, reference, or revere Bible commentaries written by scholars such as Matthew Henry's Commentary, John Calvin's Bible Commentary, and more. What if God wrote a commentary on the Bible? This would bring tears of joy to believers and followers of God. God's commentary on the Bible would be better than all commentaries in the world, combined. We give you good news. God has sent a commentary on the Bible called the Holy Quran to solve the mysteries. The Quranic commentary on the Bible gives the solution to many Bible questions. Miraculously detecting and solving mysteries before, ancient Bible scholars knew most of the issues the Bible contained. The Bible was once pure, yet over the centuries, scribal, copyist, and linguist errors have caused the divine words to be written, copied, and translated wrong. The Quran cures the human insertions that have caused confusion in the Bible. The Quran mends major manipulations that manifest themselves between the scribes of Moses compared to the scribes of Jesus, causing the fault line between Jews and Christians. Where the Bible makes erroneous, single assertions, the Quran counters the contradictions with accurate detailed descriptions. Where the Bible lists multiple conflicting exegeses, the Quran corrects the Bible with a single powerful compendium. About this book. This research study is essentially four books in one. 1. A book of Bible questions, listing over 200 difficulties in the Bible. 2. A book of excuses, listing attempts by the top Bible scholars to remedy the discrepancies. 3. A book of responses, listing refutations to the excuses by biblicists so that the reader can make an objective comparison from both sides. 4. A book of solutions, listing the miraculous ways the Quran accomplishes what millenniums of Bible scholars could not. In this comprehensive analysis, you will find how the Quran gives clear and concise corrections to Bible errancies. Overall, this is a book of unity, settling the differences between Jews and Christians. And we sent down the book, Quran, to thee for the express purpose, that thou shouldst make clear to them those things in which they differ, and that it should be a guide and a mercy to those who believe. Quran 16-64 The Purpose The purpose of this book is multidimensional. To present harmony to the children of Abraham. Through agreement comes love, and love is the opposite of war. Peaceful tranquility is the effect of the Quran on warring families, neighbors, tribes, countries, and religions. The Quran unites over a billion humans from all ethnic and socioeconomic backgrounds, together shoulder to shoulder and foot to foot in worship to one Creator. To solidify what many Muslims have been stating, that the Quran came to correct the Bible. The Quran is the divine arbitrator of the Bible, judging between Jews and Christians and being the unifier of the two. To clarify an often overlooked miracle in the Quran, there are almost a million terms in the entire Bible, hence it's celestially incredible and absolutely impossible to filter through these million words and identify and correct details that were not known to be wrong within the Bible until centuries after the Quran. The Quran, coming from the Lord of the heavens and the earth, accomplishes this divine task for humans to bear witness. To dispel myths that the Quran copied the Bible. Demonstrating that the Quran is not the copy, it is the correction. Another myth is that the Quran is from demonic sources. As we will witness, the Quran corrects the Bible on topics of morality, fairness, and equality, to name a few. God wants us to be moral, just, and equitable, hence the Quran is from God. How this book was made. All praise due to Allah for the inspiration and time to make this book. Nearly a decade of research have been compiled into this book. Originally, this book was titled, 50 Ways. Then as one who initially saw a glitter, I later discovered that the glitter was actually a large treasure trove of corrections from the Quran for the Bible. I was blessed by Allah to find more and more ways, even up to a 101 ways, and then the findings surpassed 200. It is an honor and pleasure to share these findings with you, the reader. 
Much of the comparative material for this book comes directly from the questions and answers between Bible students and their teachers. Those cycles of unanswered or poorly answered questions have caused many to either leave or even rebel against the love of God. The Holy Quran gives the divine answers to those questions and leaves one in complete agreement with mind, heart, and soul to achieve tranquility God willing. A very sincere effort was made to search for an excuse for every Bible problem we found that related to the Quran when making the book. A few mysteries were removed because their reciprocal excuses were credible. Some of the Biblicist excuses were filled with verbose empathy for an error in their original form. My aim was to get to the precise point, the core of the excuse, thus some paraphrases were used. In the same manner, we made the rest of the book in a direct, straightforward style, similar to the dictionary or an encyclopedia format. This saves the reader time and effort in seeking a reference and simply excludes the extra frill. The use of hadith. Why hadith were not incorporated in the comparison? Using hadith sayings of Prophet Muhammad and his companions, could have possibly given more ways Islamic literature corrected Christian and Judaic literature, but then using Hadith would have required a comparison with the Jewish Talmuds, sayings by rabbis, as well as encyclicals, sayings by popes. Therefore, this would delve into second and third person accounts and opinions that would be very controversial and less straightforward than directly comparing our fundamental scriptures, the Bible and the Quran. The authenticity of a few hadiths, talmuds, and encyclicals are questioned even by their own adherents. Some Christians do not believe or adhere to some encyclicals, and some Jews do not accept some talmud rulings, therefore it would not be fair to use comparisons that may not be accepted as true by all three religions. Hence, this comparison has been limited to the Bible and Quran. That may be a good comparative research for a student or teacher. Comparing scripture brings beautiful truth towards unity and understanding and the love of God for helping humans. What the Quran says about the Bible. The Quran confirms the truth in the Bible and dispels the myths in the Bible of the million words in the Bible. Some are true and some are false, distorted, deleted, or mistranslated. The Quran states, People of the book, our messenger has come to you making clear to you many things you have been concealing of the book, and forgive you much. A light has come to you from Allah and a glorious book, with which he will guide whoever follows his pleasure in the way of peace, and brings them forth from darkness into the light by his will. Quran 5:15-16. The Quran does confirm that some parts of the Bible were distorted, as the Bible itself states. Ye have perverted the words of the living God. Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 36 How can you say, We are wise, and the law of the Lord is with us? But behold, the false pen of the scribes has made it into a lie. Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 8 And the Lord said to me, The prophets are prophesying lies in my name, I did not send them, nor did I command them or speak to them. They are prophesying to you a lying vision, worthless divination, and the deceit of their own minds. Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 14 Even Jesus admits the scribes omitted things from the Bible. O unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye pay tithe of mint and anise and cumin, and have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy and faith, these ought ye to have done, and not to leave the other undone. Matthew chapter 23 verse 23 how to use this book we invite the reader both muslims and non-muslims to read this book with an open mind when discussing this book with others please use it as a tool for love and unity rather than animosity as respecting all three scriptures of having the same purpose dispelling evil and embracing the love and tranquility of god